What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of a Tech once again, and today we're going to go over dual mining Caspa with Dynex Coin or DNX, utilizing the SRB Miner Multi version 2.2.2 on Hive OS. Let's get into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. I recently launched a crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com and it includes nine steps to cover when you decide to start your crypto mining journey. This is specifically pertaining to 2023 crypto mining profits and taking advantage of the down market to achieve skyrocketing growth as we move into the next halving of Bitcoin. You'll learn buying mining equipment in a bear market, using outside investment to speculative mine, begin mining once profit is established, sell mine crypto to pay for electricity, Hold and prep for the bull run, sell at the top of the bull market, sell mining equipment at the top of the bull market, and begin investing in land and power so that you can bring in outside investors to utilize excess resources. Thanks everybody for your support, and I hope you enjoy the course. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Welcome back everybody. So to get things started, let's take a look at the miner we're gonna be utilizing on GitHub. This was released four days ago as of time of recording, and this is SRB miner version 2.2.2, you can see that they used the CPU por portion of proof of useful work for Dynex on NVIDIA GPUs over to the GPU. We talked about this in a previous video. And with Dynex, it is a memory intensive coin. So we are able to go ahead and dual mine it with a core intensive coin like Caspa. Another example of something you could do this with would be Alephium. So you do have some options here, but we are going to be covering Caspa in this particular video. Now, if you need to learn to set up anything like a Caspa node or how to mine Caspa in general and generating a command line wallet, go ahead and check out that video. If you need to learn how to mine Dynex and configure a wallet and get your wallet address for Dynex, please check out the how to mine Dynex video. This is just going to be the settings in Hive OS for mining them dual. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the rigs that we have set up. So in here, what we're going to do is go ahead and go over to the flight sheet and just show you guys what we got working. So the coin for the first coin is Dynex. We're utilizing our Dynex web wallet, which you can always click here to add the wallet if you need to add it. Same with, of course, Caspa. Click add wallet to add to add it. For the pool, we're going to configure in the miner, and then we're going to click the setup miner config. Now for the Dynex, we're utilizing Echo Pool, so we are utilizing this pool server. The important parts here is going to be going down for the Malib endpoint and inputting the Malib endpoint for Dynex, and then disabling the CPU so we aren't putting any extra strain on the CPU in general. Usually you'll have to go ahead and click apply changes and then set up your dual coin setup, which is Caspa and then the Caspa wallet and configure and miner once again. Then you'll come back and click set up miner config and up here there's an option for a second coin. You'll go over to the second coin and you'll have to pick the hash algorithm, which will be Caspa. You can just put in your wallet uh, portion here by highlighting over and clicking wallet same with worker name and then on the server you'll just put in your caspa server now i have my own caspa node that we're mining to on the local network you can check out how to do that on my how to solo mine caspa and build a node video so there you go for our password we also put put the worker name but it's pretty much unnecessary and it'll depend on essentially in my case it's unnecessary but it will depend specifically on the pool that you're utilizing for caspa on whether you put the worker name here or put the worker name here if the pool requests that you do wallet dot worker name you would put it here if the pool requests that you put the wallet name in the password section then you would put the worker name here you're gonna go ahead and click apply and then update at that point we'll go ahead and take a look at the hive shell and there's a few things that we want to take a look at so in the hive shell here you can see we already have the miner pulled up if we wanted to pull that up, we would just come here and on the prompt type in miner and it'll pull up the miner. You can see that we are receiving jobs from both Dynex as well as Caspa. You can do a control plus AD to get out of that. And we also want to make sure that our CPU usage is looking okay. So we're going to run an HTOP. 
And as you can see, the CPU usage after we ran, of course, HTOP, which does boost or peak the CPU usage, is running around 40%. And this is on a, an Octo Miner X12. So we are doing pretty good there. I have been keeping track of the hash rates as well over on the Dynex mining pool. And we have been pretty much on point with the 12.7 or whatever kilohash a second, around 12 kilohash a second that's also getting reported in here. So that does mean that we are getting the same hash rate that's being reported within Hive OS with version 2.2.2 that we are getting reported on the pool, which is fantastic. Uh, in the particular case of the 3070 though, uh, we're, we're still working on the dual mining setup in this particular case. There do seem to be some issues. I'm going to do a minor restart and see if we can resolve some of these issues. Part of it probably has to do with the fact that we already locked the memory. So if you do fail in this particular case, you may have to reboot the rig because if you were in my case, for example, mining Caspa on this and you've applied the memory core lock, then it's going to cause some errors when you are moving over to mining uh, the Dynex, right? So that's just something to keep in mind when you are going through this, some potential issues that you may run into. If you don't get the dual mining, uh, option on one of these. Let me see if I can find an older rig that maybe the 1660 Super GTX 1060. If you don't have the dual mining option, what you may need to do is come up here to the update and then force upgrade and reboot after complete and upgrade to the Hive OS version that includes SRB Miner version 2.2.2. .2 then you can just go ahead and click the upgrade. Pretty much how that runs. Those are a couple of the issues that you could run into. And as far as this goes, I'll probably bounce it and then get it up and running. It was running earlier when I tested it the other day, so I really don't have to worry too much. We do seem to be able to dual mine both on NVIDIA as well as on AMD with Dynex and Caspa. It is currently not more profitable than mining them by themselves, which is important to note in this particular case. And that is because if you're mining Caspa, you can really lock down the memory. So especially on rigs that you're mining Caspa with in the NVIDIA sense for me, for example. And that means that for me, I have the Caspa rigs pretty much just running Caspa for NVIDIA GPU specifically. And that's because I can lock down that memory clock and that can reduce my power consumption, which actually makes it more profitable at the end of the day. But I want to show you guys how to do it. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Don't forget to check out Locals at sonofatech.locals.com or check out the crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com.